it's the time uh, we've done this event before headline sponsor, but it's probably more important now. You know, we're just getting out of COVID. And to be honest with you, you can tell by the energy in the room. Yeah, you've got the energy in the room, it's full, everybody's having fun. And we've got to get over the hangover of COVID. It's been difficult for so many people, so many businesses, so many employees. The first time I met John, it was like an instant connection. But there was something special about him. He taught me about positivity. He taught me how we could all work together and we could all win. It wasn't in business sometimes as winners and losers, but for John, he, he, he just showed me that if you really connect with the right people and you work as a team, we can all win together. Well, I'm, well, I'm very proud of Sean Peter so am. And uh, he was always a good lad and worked hard and I'm glad he's achieved what he wanted to do and he always was up for a challenge and he's gone, he's safe now and coming home from the Himalayas. Oh, it's so relieved to be back at a normal event. Just really to be kind of see each other not in 2D but in 3D. Um, and you know, just generally networking, catching up with everyone, like what their experience has been over the past 18 months, and actually just celebrate, you know, um, the achievements of those who survived the past 18 months, but also, you know, the, the past decade really within, you know, Liverpool economy. Um, and it's just really good to feel the energy in the room. As always, the um, the Colbert Awards are well, it is the event of the season, and as someone that organises events. For me to say it's the event of the season, I'm really honouring the Colbert Awards. I think uh, to be in such good company as well as a real sort of achievement for us. We're not based in Liverpool, we're outside of Liverpool. Um, and to be nominated by whoever's nominated is like amazing. Yeah, I think it's great to be recognised as well with other um, industry leaders as well. Um, and it's great that such a, a small company like our, ourselves can stand with the big boys. And, you know what, to be honest, I've never ever been surprised in my life. Like, never ever. I, uh, I was telling the people at my table then, you know, I remember when I was 20, I'd just been blown up in Afghanistan. I was feeling a little bit down. And all my friends were planning a surprise 21st party for me. And my dad actually ruined the surprise by trying to lift my spirits a little bit, you know, a few weeks before the 21st. And I teamed up at the party and had to pretend I was surprised. And I've genuinely never ever been surprised in my life until this moment. And, you know, the fact that I was, uh, you know, one man of the year at such a prestigious award after such a difficult time, it, it, it just absolutely means the world to me. I'm absolutely delighted on to win this award tonight. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, last year has been a horrendous year for everyone. And to come away with an award like this, which is, it says it's got my name on it, but it's not my name. It's everybody we employ. It's all the staff we employ. It's the work that we've done. Uh, in the wider construction community and obviously downtown have done an amazing job. Uh, I was really honoured to be at the first awards ceremony uh, this year and last year which was the ACC which downtown bought. It was the only award that went on and we were honoured to be part of that so for me and our behalf of the team this is a fabulous honour and I'd just like to say a special thank you to Frank and his team. Thank you. It's all about the staff and that's what it's all for. Come on! <laughs>If you enjoyed that video then please subscribe to our youtube channel on the link below and be among the first to get to listen to all the latest interviews through the downtown den